When your computer failed to boot into Windows, you may see your PC did not start correctly or automatic startup repair fail or many other kind of a screen that you might be getting on your Windows 11 or Windows 10. Now here, in order to fix this problem, I know it's really annoying. You have to do your work. So the very first solution that I would recommend you that simply go ahead and restart the computer. Now I have tried this personal uh, many times and after making a few restart, I have seen that the problem has been automatically fixed. So this is my first recommendation that if you need a quick solution, go ahead and restart the computer. In case if it, that doesn't work for you, then you will have to click here on the advanced option. And then you will be coming to this kind of page where you will be getting different kind of troubleshooting steps to fix this problem. All right. So once you come to this page, click here on troubleshoot. Now it says reset this PC. So we don't have to go with that option as of now. So click on advanced option. And bingo, in the advanced options, you can see that how many options you get that you can try in order to fix this problem. And I would recommend you to go with the basic one that is a startup repair. And it says fix problem that keep windows from loading. And that exactly what we have the problem that our windows is not loading and it's giving us a blue screen that your PC did not start correctly. So what you can do, you can click on the startup repair. And now it will be diagnosing your PC. And many time it happens that it goes automatically and fix all your problem so that your Windows 11 or Windows 10 can load up properly without any kind of problem. So this is the second thing that you can do. But in case if this method also doesn't work and you get the starter repair, couldn't repair your PC again. No worries. Click on advanced option. Again, click on troubleshoot. Click on advanced option. Then on the right of it, we can try another option here that is uninstall update. Click on it. And here you'll find two different options, uninstall latest quality update and the feature update. Now, if you're not sure what kind of these update are, so the feature update are major releases that introduces the new feature and the improvement like a new Windows version. And the quality update are regular update that includes security patches, bug fixes and the performance tweak. Now, what exactly happened after updating your Windows 11 or Windows 10, you might have these kind of problem. So what we can do, we can just uninstall these update that we recently updated after that, which we had the problem. So first, what you can do, you can click on uninstall latest feature update and see that if this fixes the problem. But in case if this doesn't work again, you can come back to the same page and try uninstalling the latest quality update. So this is the third troubleshooting step that you can apply. And in case if this also doesn't work, so again, click on advanced option, then click on troubleshoot. Click on advanced option again and click on command prompt. So once the command prompt is up, now what we can do, we can run few kind of command here in order to fix the Windows file, which is creating the problem. So the first command will be chk dsk space forward slash f space forward slash r. Then you have to type the drive letter of your Windows operating system. So if it's been installed in the C drive, then you have to type here C, then type the colon and hit the enter key. And now it will be scanning your drive and if there is any kind of problem, it will try to fix it. Now keep in mind this command can take some time. So you have to sit and relax. Make sure that you do not close your PC. If you're using a laptop, make sure that your uh, charge has been connected so that it should not stop in between the process. All right. So once this command is completed, now the next one will be boot REC space for a slash rebuild BCD. Again, hit the enter key. Now it will be scanning all the disks for the Windows installation. And if there will be any problem, it will try to fix it. If it asks you add installation to boot list, so you will have to press the Y key and again hit the enter key. All right. Now the next command will be boot REC space for a slash fix boot. In case if you get access is denied, no problem. Now you can go and try the another command that is boot REC space for a slash fix MBR. Okay, the operation completed successfully and now we are only remaining with the last command that is SFC space or slash is scan now. All right, now it will be scanning all the system files. So you have to wait until this has been 100% completed. And you can see it says Windows resource protection found corrupt file and successfully repaired them. The system file repair changes will take effect after the next restart. So what you can do, you can click on close here. Click on continue. 
and see that if the computer is working fine or not and hopefully this will surely fix your problem and the computer will now loading up without any kind of problem in case it's still if it doesn't work again go ahead and restart the computer and i'm pretty sure that you would be able to load to your windows 11 or windows 10 but in case if none of the solution work for you unfortunately then what you can do there are still two steps that you can try in order to fix your problem again click on advanced options you will come to this kind of page click on troubleshoot click on advanced option and here in the advanced option you get system restore option so what you can do you can click on it and it says restore system file and settings so you will have to click on next and if you have created any kind of restore point when your computer was working absolutely fine then you have to select that particular date click on next and once you click on finish it will start restoring your computer to that particular stage when the computer was working fine all right so this is another solution that you can try in case if this also doesn't work click on troubleshoot again and then finally you have to try with the reset this pc option this is the final and the last solution that you can try so click on it then it says keep my file or remove everything so you can click on keep my file then it says cloud download or the local reinstall so if you're connected with the internet you can go with the cloud download if you go with the local reinstall then it will be using the same a local windows operating system image that you have on your drive so try any one of the option and see that which will work for you this also may take some time to reset this pc and it will not be deleting your personal data and information so this is the last option that you can try and these are only the best solution that you can try in order to fix your pc does not start correctly or automatic startup repair loop please let me know in the comment section that which method work for you and still if you are suffering the same problem then also let me know in the comment section until then take care bye bye